Word to describe the dream team, what, what would you say? The dream team would probably be arrogant, snobby, self-centered, stupid, full of it, annoying, obnoxious, has no limitations of what needs to be said and what doesn't need to be said, cocky. I mean, I can go on and on. What do I get to Shark today? Attack. There are five million sharks. In 2017, Mr. Sherman was in his second year at Pascag Valley. His first was filled with many great classes that will hold memories with him for a lifetime. Little did he know that one period for a class would be filled with drama too crazy for even a movie. In this class, there was Chris McGrath and Matt Mugno, both with siblings that had taken video production as seniors the year prior. Both John McGrath and Michael Mugno had success in Sherman's class, forming two of the stronger groups throughout the year. This was a lot to live up to for the then junior Mugno and sophomore McGrath. I was always interested in filmmaking as a kid and, uh, and when he, he took the class and he had, you know, he, he had a group of people that he worked with that he became very friendly with so I, I think that kind of drove that to, you know, working with, you know, it wasn't just yourself. They both entered the class not knowing much about the roster of kids that would fill the seats for the rest of the year. It was weird. It's weird being a junior in high school and you, you walk into a class and don't know everyone. So I only knew Steve-O. At the beginning of video production, um, I didn't know that many people. Honestly, I only knew like the people like in our grade. Um, and even at that, like I didn't really like talk to them that much. And I remember Ari Quinn sits next to the right uh, to the right of me. I remember I think I was far left, and Steve was next to me on the right end, and it was Ari. And I remember me and Steve both kind of looked at each other like, "Who is this kid?" You know, not in a bad way, but it was like. You know, you think you know everyone, you know those kids in your grade, and it's like, now you're sitting next to each other for three weeks of class. Sherman soon put these kids to work, making About Me projects and interviews as starting off projects to get familiar with camera angles and editing in Adobe Premiere Pro, the software that the school provides. The first main project involving a story was the phone call. In this, a group of students had to create a story based on the plot of a student being called down to the office. However, Sherman made the students include the plot points of seeing a friend and taking a drink from the water fountain on the way down. The groups had to be in four, so McGrath left his sophomore classmates to join Mugno and two other juniors, Ari Quinn and Stephen Murno. They soon would call themselves the Dream Team in a reference to the 1992 Olympic men's basketball team who are called the greatest team ever. I think we saw early with that project that we were all down to business and we could joke around. This was the first time we actually make sure we did the right thing, make, make sure we had the right camera angles, the right lighting, the sound, everything was good. We made sure everything was on point, so we didn't mess anything up. We, we were more creative with the prompt um, than other groups, like other groups might have just like, you know, mailed it in, be less creative than we were, and I really think that that, I think, again, is the most important thing, creativity. Uh, honestly, I think the phone call was one of our best projects. Uh, uh, Mugno uh, going down in the office, I think that's one of our best projects. It was really good. I think that project kind of set the precedent for what the Dream Team's all about. When showing projects to the class, it was evident that the Dream Team was going to submit strong entries into every project they worked on together. This created a rivalry between Mugno and sophomore Zach Moon. Moon was notorious for setting up shots and making sure he did everything that Sherman preached. The rivalry would get heated to see who could create the best projects. Some students would back Moon, while others would back Mugno. This would last the entire year. Moon defines Squeeb. If you don't know what a Squeeb is, just look at Moon. So during the first year, uh, he would put a lot of like little jabs in his videos at me. I was in one of his videos and he just blatantly killed me. Um, I would always kind of make little remarks at Mugno too, like if there was like a little error in his video, like continuity, I'd always call it out. I'd just be kind of like a little nudge. Everyone saw them as complete enemies, and they were for a while. I enjoyed watching their little fights. The big thing with Moon, it was like, he always kissed up to Mr. Sherman. Uh, he always made sure, like, oh, my shot's perfect, and, you know, I use a boom mic perfectly. Um, but at the end of the day, if you don't have good ideas, if you're not creative, like the Dream Team, um, it, the story is just not going to be as good. So. I feel like that was kind of the downfall of Moon's project, was the lack of creativity. Between group projects were individuals, all of them with a purpose to learn a new skill as it was still early in the year. The three smaller projects were the green screen, the 30 second challenge, as well as the PSA. 
two were individual, and the 30 second challenge was in a group. In all of these, the common thread was that the Dream Team tried a more comedic route, where Moon was always more serious. At this point of the year was the origination of the shark costume, as McGrath would use it in his PSA, and more in the latter half of the year. These projects led up to the Carissa Special, which is always a favorite. Here, a group of three or four, again, would have about five to seven class days to make a holiday movie. This sparked many leaping points for the Dream Team. They were very creative and produced what was undoubtedly the best one in the class. Sherman showed it to his other classes, which was the true test to see how good it was. Everyone loved it. The Christmas special is iconic. I think that was our breakthrough, you know, our, our breakthrough as a, uh, as, a, as a team. The Christmas special was one of my favorite ones to film. We all did a lot to make it become the best it could be, and I think it was the best Christmas special of all time, in my opinion. From what I recall, their holiday special was probably one of the stronger entries that I've seen in recent years. Um, they seemed pretty all in on the prompt and the concept. Uh, they seemed to, have to enjoy uh, filming it. I thought it was very funny. The plot was good. I thought Sherman's acting in it was pretty good. Uh, the end fight team was definitely the best, the best part of it. I know it was talked about the most that year. I know a lot of other classes wanted to see that one. The end was a great fighting scene with Sherman and Mugno on the field. Usually anything that I'm involved with, usually it, it raises the, the bar a lot. So I know I'm in, I'm in the third act of that a lot. So, you know, they're very thankful for me that, that I, I, I was involved. But, um, yeah, I, I, remember, I remember having fond memories um, making, that, making that short film. Up next was the script project. This is where everyone had to make their own screenplay and then would read it aloud to the class. Well, I remember Sienna didn't hand in her script. After the Christmas special was the preparation for the 10 day projects. Beginning in the end of March is a statewide film competition in which a group has to create a three to four minute video in only 10 school days. The prompt is given on the first day so no one can prepare in advance. In Sherman's previous year at Pascock Valley, Chris McGrath's brother, John, had qualified as one of the best 30 films out of hundreds that competed in New Jersey. This is a lot to live up to, but they were confident that they could do so. In the meantime, the Dream Team started talking trash to Sherman's advanced class, mostly filled with seniors. Gio Ligori, a senior and Mr. Sherman's favorite student, decided to make a bet with still sophomore Chris McGrath that if Ligori got in over him, he would get to shave his head in any way he wanted to. If the reverse happened, McGrath would get to wax Gio's hairy legs. This amped the stakes. Matt and Chris did a lot of trash talking. I wasn't, I stayed out of it. And it was, I thought it was very funny because everyone in the class got very angry at it and it just made our projects even better and better. I feel like the dream team, a few of those people in that group um, were pretty much saying they're gonna make it they're gonna win, and everyone else is trash. And everyone else is trash, that's a quote that, that I'm saying. Um, as for the advanced class, um, I knew that there was talent there, but at the end of the day, I believed in us, and I thought that we could beat anyone in our way. Um, so I did think that, you know, our trash talking was, was real. Not like real, but like, I believed everything that we said that we would make it to 10 day, and I don't regret saying any of that. That was one of those things, it was a pride thing. Uh, the advanced class was also doing it, so that was some competition. We felt like we were a strong enough group in the regular class that we could, you know, maybe overthrow them, maybe make it in. When the first day hit, all the classes began to brainstorm ideas. The prompt, however, deterred many groups from using all of their creativity. The main road bump in the prompt was that the main character had to have a reoccurring dream. The dream team worked through this and came up with the plot of a guy trying to override reality with what he thinks he remembers, which was murdering his best friend. I thought the, the overall idea that we had for 10 day was really good. I, I think it wasn't executed uh, right. You know, we spent a whole block period uh, on walking. Uh, and Chris made, Chris did a good job editing. He just made a small mistake with the audio one part, which I thought was, you could really tell. We all made sure we had the same clothes and everything, and uh, Ari and Chris were big time on the camera and uh, made sure the audio was all good, and then me and Steve were kind of the main actors in it. But uh, yeah, I, I remember putting a lot into it. I thought that was a good idea in theory, but I thought that our execution could have been better. 
Um, I thought that there was walking, a little too much walking. That, that again, falls on me. Um, I'll take the blame for that 100%. I could have edited that out a little bit. Um, but I thought that the plot was very solid here. And um, I thought that it, our, our idea definitely was 10 day worthy. To give the Dream Team credit, uh, they, they went all in. And, and to give, you know, and that's just not them. A lot of my kids, a lot of the groups, they go all in. They, they, they just focus for those 10 days on, on, this, on this project. On April 1st, Sherman texted McGrath saying that he made it and they got selected. Little did he know that it was April Fool's Day and the results did not come in yet. He ran around the house like an idiot. I wish I had it on video so I could send it to Sherman. All of what the Dream Team had worked for came down to this. Months of improving came down to the decision of judges. Only 30 projects would get accepted, and one did from PV. However, it was not the Dream Team's. Rather, Gio Ligori's film, Day Zero. This was a gut-wrenching blow to the Dream Team. It was hard. It was a hard thing to deal with because the Dream Team was always on top. And this one, we just we didn't make it and it really it was tough on us tough on all of us but uh, the result was just very that was devastating i can remember we 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 all thought i don't think we thought we were a shoe in but i think we put in the work to to possibly make it so that was devastating i remember chris definitely took it hard chris put a lot of work in with the editing so uh not that it was on his shoulders but i i think he took it very harshly it didn't even occur to me within the first hour that I was going to have to get my head shaved. Um, that was second. I was more mad that we, we didn't make it. You know, we, we spent time, effort, and just a lot of, just a lot of care, a lot of caring into that project. And to not be picked, it's kind of heartbreaking, I'm not going to lie. But to see a group of people who thought they were the best which is fine, but don't, don't go out and be cocky and, and, and be arrogant and to see them just come down from that high and just crash and burn up, it brought, it brought joy to my, it, brought, it made my heart feel very warm. Gio did not forget about the head shaving. Ligori humiliated McGrath in the courtyard during the following Pascac period. McGrath, however, said that losing and not getting in was worse than the actual punishment. Honestly, that was probably one of the stupidest things ever, but it was funny. I mean, I, you know, you get a good laugh out of it. The worst decision ever. I thought it was funny. Like, I didn't really like mine getting my head shaved that bad. You know, I thought, thought it was funny. It made for a good video, and that's really all that matters. I don't know if I'm going to say this as a teacher, and I have to be a neutral uh, party, but let me just say I took great pleasure in seeing Gio shave Chris's head. The following couple of days was rough for the Dream Team, getting mocked and ridiculed for not living up to the trash talk that they threw around all year, but they took it all well as they deserved it. It was relieving to them that at least Moon didn't get in either. The next few projects were hard for them to make, however, all in all they bounced back by making great music videos, ones that were definitely at the top of the class. That project was a great way to end the year. All in all, video production provided the kids a great way for students to meet new kids and create videos that would last as memories. Without the video production class, these kids would not have known each other and met kids from different grades. A majority of the kids decided to take the advanced class, where they would collaborate to make PVTV every other week. Moon and Mugno seem to bond and get along together now that they are on the same team. Everyone's gotten better. They're, uh, they've become more mature and we've, we're on better terms now. Um, I hope that we can take the extra field trip to 10 day this year and have a blast. And I'm glad that's one of the relationships I'm glad turned around, especially this year. You know, I've driven him home before now. I see, I see him a lot uh, when he works at Dairy Queen on the weekends and so and so. For our second year of video production, we are very successful. Uh, me and Ari uh, keep the dream team spirit alive. Um, we're going through gates each and every week coming up with big boy scientific material. This year I think we work very well together because everyone knows everyone from last year. There's only a few new kids that have taken it. Overall, Mr. Sherman's video production class seemed to give everyone joy even when they failed. It was a great experience for every kid, even if they didn't take the classes seriously. They still got to make funny videos to share with their friends. 
As for the Dream Team, they will always appreciate each other, when at the beginning of the year, they had no idea who each of them were. Mr. Sherman's goal of wanting kids to make work that in 10 years they can look back on and be proud of seems to be accomplished with this group, as they are ever so thankful for what he's done. Even when these kids are in college, they will always remember and miss their junior and senior year of video production with Mr. Sherman. So honestly, like, if it weren't for this, I think this class, it's half, by the end of this year, I mean, I'm graduating, but that's half of my PV career. I'll never forget it. I mean, there's just so many people I met. Taking this class has inspired me to pursue video production. I'm taking it in college as my major and hopefully I can make a career out of this. It's something I really enjoy and I fit well in it. I did enjoy this class. Sherman was a great teacher. Um, I cannot imagine having a class without Sherman, honestly. Uh, and looking back, you know, three, four years down the line, I'm gonna look back at some of these projects like the Christmas project, uh, the 10-day, and of course the main one, which is gonna be Sapienza, which we're currently filming right now. I'm Matthew Mugno, and I will always remember the Dream Team. My name is Ari Quinn, and I will always remember the Dream Team. My name is Christopher McGrath, and I will always remember the Dream Team. My name is Steven Murnau, and I will always remember the Dream Team. Roll Sab.